bass head, I'm a bass head, bass but bass head, I'm a Howdy do, bass heads. Today I'm gonna be showing y'all how to add diodes to your alternator to get a higher voltage out of your regulator. What this is gonna do is it's gonna make your regulator put out more voltage, which in return is gonna charge your batteries more and make you have a higher voltage going to your amps, giving you a little bit more power. So these are the diodes that I have. I got them off of Amazon for about 10 bucks. 1N5404. So whenever you add one of these to your alternator, it's gonna give you about 0.3 more volts. Like on my car, my car uh, runs about 14.1 volts. And when you add one of these, each one will add 0.3, so it should go from 14.1 to 14.4 or 14.5 from just adding one. I'm gonna show y'all an easy way to do this so you can have a plug on each end and quickly connect them. That way if you don't want it in all the time, all you have to do is unplug this from both ends and then plug the two connectors together and go back to stock. I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all, if you're running lithium, it'll probably be all right to run these all the time, but if you're just running an AGM battery, a regular lead uh, battery, I would not leave it in all the time. And the reason I say that is because when it's cold outside, my batteries have a lot more uh, juice in them, and I guess the alternator puts out more. When it's warm outside, my car only charges about 14 volts, but when it's cold outside, and I first start it, it's putting out around 14.7, 14.8. So it's almost a full volt higher when it's cold outside. So. My car puts out 14 when it's warm. If I add two of these where it's going to like 14.8 on a warm day, whenever I start the car the next morning, it's probably going to be in the mid 15 range and it's going to burn some shit up, possibly blow up your battery, destroy your battery, destroy some wiring. It's going to be a bad time. So if you want to do this to just, whenever you give demos or go to a competition or something, you want to up the voltage, I would do it then, and then when you leave, unplug it, plug your stock ones back in, and run it back with the stock for daily driving. Another thing, there's a certain way you have to put this. This silver stripe at the bottom always has to face your alternator, and the black side away from your alternator. The way I did this one, I've got a male connector on the side with the silver, so uh, I kind of think of that as an arrow. This is the female, this is the male end, so that kind of points to the alternator. So what I'm gonna do on your sense wire on your alternator, you're gonna cut your sense wire, you're gonna put a female on the end close to the alternator, and a male on the other end. So whenever I have a connector on both ends, I just plug this into the sense wire, and then on the other end, I plug the wire into this. That's gonna give me one diode. You wanna take these, you wanna crimp them and possibly solder them if you can. You don't want that shit coming off and arcing because that sense wire has a constant uh, power supply. So if you ground that out, it's gonna be a bad time. I'll show y'all on the car when I get back to my car and I'll show y'all exactly what I'm talking about but these are a cheap way of adding some voltage if you need it. And if you have a uh, lithium, you can boost it quite a bit. All right, so this is what I'm talking about. One of these wires on your alternator is gonna be your sense wire. If you've got an external regulator, it should have an S on the regulator for which wire. If not, you can find a diagram and figure it out. But for mine, it's this middle black and white wire. So what you would do is come somewhere and cut the wire in half, and on one end put a female connector, the other end put a male connector. So once you got your connectors, this is gonna go right in line. So I'll have that wire with a female connector plugged into here, and the other end of the wire with a male connector plugged into this end. And uh, you know, run one, See if you like it. If you want more voltage, add another one in line. 
but just make sure this silver stripe at the bottom is always towards your alternator. And then you put some heat shrink on it or wrap it with something to keep it from getting burnt and make sure there's no metal that can touch metal. And that's about it. But like I said, if you got an AGM battery, don't leave it in there or pay attention to your battery. If you know the highest voltage your battery will go in the cold and you think you can add one and it'll be fine, then go ahead and do it, but you really don't want it to ever run over 15 volts. All right, I just wanted to show you all that real quick. Uh, I'll hit you all up with another video in a couple days. We got a car meet this weekend, and I'm going to be doing some in-depth reviews on some vehicles, so y'all check that out. All right, base heads, peace.